Bienvenidos a Bugs. Aquí encontrarás de todo. Veneno, control mental y hasta explosivos. Bugs is an immersive, artistic, but still deeply scientific exhibit that seeks to change our relationship with bugs and the way we see them and seeks to inspire awe and perceive as superheroes these critters that we're usually grossed out by or freaked out by. The exhibit is really cool. It comes to us from New Zealand. The, it was developed by Te Papa, which is the National Museum of New Zealand. And it was made in conjunction with the studio that I was actually behind the special effects in some Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. It has a really interesting look and feel to it. It's very artistic and very dynamic. It's like these bold colors. Like you feel immersed in like a different world and it's the world of bugs. Los insectos tienen seis patas y el cuerpo dividido en tres segmentos. Muchos tienen alas. Algunos que quizás conozcas son las libélulas, las hormigas y los escarabajos. So for this exhibit we wanted to try something different and then it's the first time that we're doing a Spanish audio guide. In the past we have tried booklets or certain family guides that were in Spanish, but we identify some problems like for example the exhibit is going to be dark and it is not fair to be asking people to have to read something. We don't want there to be this barrier, so we started thinking like okay, what we, what could we do? that addresses these problems. And then we, we said, well, if we had something that had audio and the text, at least we are providing people with two options, right? Another thing with audio guys is that sometimes there's this very complex process. You have to like rent a device and then carry the device. So we wanted it very, we wanted it to be very easy for people to access. They can just access it from their cell phone through a QR code. And we wanted them to be able to go to explore the exhibit at their own pace so they have control over that. So we wanted the, the layout of it to be very simple and very user friendly. Access and inclusion work cannot happen solely in theory and in a vacuum. People whose experiences authentically reflect our community, bringing those voices to the table produces work that is an honest reflection of what our community needs more and more. As an immigrant, I know what it's like to be in a place feel like I don't belong. And so if through this we can make people feel like they belong because they do, we want people, we want everybody to feel like they belong in our doors, then that just makes my day. Well, science affects the life of everybody. Independent of language, independent of education, independent of occupation, independent of, well, where somebody came from, where somebody happened to be born. Science affects the life of everybody. So when we, as, an, as a museum of science and nature, want to present aspects of science to people, we want to reach people, we want to make it as easy as possible for people. And well, we have a huge Spanish-speaking population here in Colorado. You can go through the exhibit just enjoying how pretty it is and just enjoying the big models and the fascinating colors and sounds that you, you're hearing. But if you want to learn more and you happen to not speak English too well, then you have an opportunity to get the audio guide and, uh, and learn things that way. We want to present it in a fun way that people just learn something without effort. I feel like historically science has been this like mythical creature that is so hard to understand and we all had to go to school and almost like fight it, almost be like, this is so hard, I, I do not understand chemistry, I am failing math. By connecting it to fun exhibits that also deal with things that we see on our everyday life, like bugs, we are making it not only accessible, but approachable and interesting. It's like, hey, these are scientists and you can be a scientist too. You in fact are a scientist. Every time you're curious and you wonder about the world, you are becoming a scientist. It is not just a thing that is for people in some ethereal realm. It's for everyone. Science is for everyone. We all live surrounded by science. And that's well, another thing that we want to bring into the table. Bugs is here till August and 
I would just say I've never seen an exhibit like this. I've never seen an exhibit that presents content in such an adaptive way, whether you're interested in seeing real specimens and reading about them, seeing giant 3D models of scientific content with amazing detailed artistic interpretations, or just interactive games that get you learning about the content kinetically, this exhibit has it all. So long term, the museum is committed to becoming more accessible and becoming fully bilingual. And this audio guide is just like a stepping stone towards that. But there are many other projects that we're committed with. Whenever we are developing a new permanent exhibit that is developed by the museum, with museum staff, we, we are looking for it to be fully bilingual, which means that we are incorporating bilingual staff to this work. And we're hoping it can be like a cycle that the more bilingual uh, content that we can have, the more bilingual stuff that we can bring inside the museum, and then that's how the ball gets rolling. Stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page for these stories and more. And stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.